Well, greetings nerds, and welcome to the fourth part of drawing Cory X Kenshin. So, we finally get to move to the other side of the drawing. We're roughly halfway through with this drawing of Cory X Kenshin already. It's been a couple weeks since we started this drawing, and I am looking forward to uh, continuing. We definitely have to work on a bit more on the other side. There's a bit more uh, on the other side that we have to do. The other side of his face and his hair and all this stuff is a little more work, but we're gonna manage to get through no matter what. It might be difficult for you nerds to see where I'm pointing at, but we're obviously gonna uh, work on uh, the other side of his afro. We're gonna work on uh, his other eyebrow, his forehead, of course, using shades of brown. We're gonna use black, uh, do the scissors strategy where I would use the scissors to scratch off. I don't know what other colors we're gonna use because, well, we're not gonna work on his uh, other side of his mouth, his mustache, his beard, etc. We're gonna get to that stuff in the next part for sure, at least. But I'm not gonna waste any more time here without any further ado. Let's go ahead and continue the drawing of Cory X Kenshin. So I recently binge watched Cory X Kenshin playing Until Dawn back in the year 2015. He looked a little bit different in that year. Like he had less facial hair and I don't mean to hurt his feelings or be uh, impudent here, but uh, Cory X Kenshin from 2015 and like like years, uh, years ago, like before he had those perfect, that perfect smile, you know, the perfect teeth. Uh, Corey X Kenshin in the year 2015 again. He had less teeth than now, but I'm glad he has that perfect smile now. And I am really jealous because I don't think I'll ever get braces anytime soon or like dental implants. I don't really need dental implants. I just need braces uh, in the future. They cost an arm and a leg though, so I don't think I'll ever uh, get some anytime soon, but... I'll keep on waiting until it's the right time for me to leave the world. I, mean, I don't need to talk about uh, teeth and braces and denture, dentures, all of that stuff. I mean, plus, not everyone is going to have that perfect smile. Not everyone is going to have those perfect dentures. And I'm one of those people that has no perfect dentures. I need to talk about Corey X Kenshin and what he does for a living. Uh, Until Dawn is obviously a survival horror game. And I have never played this game before. I am yet to play it, actually. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite uh, games that's exclusively for a PlayStation console uh, that I haven't really played yet. And I'm going to give that game a shot because it's really, it's pretty intriguing to me. In my opinion, it's not as intriguing as Detroit Become Human. And speaking of Detroit Become Human, obviously Corey X Kenshin played that game. And I, I was able to uh, beat the game like two weekends ago. It was a couple weekends ago that I uh, completed uh, Detroit Become Human uh, for the first time ever. I chose the peaceful route and now I'm replaying it and I'm choosing the violent route. And I'll keep on uh, replaying it as much as I can. I, I want to check out the different endings, maybe like the Easter eggs and the secret endings and all that stuff. Any of the like... I don't want to like fill up the flow chart in each chapter of the game because there's so many scenarios he could go, like so many branches from a tree. <laughs> it's really insane, like how much hard work these video game companies would like do in order to release these games. And you know, I got to give it to them. I got to give it to these video game companies like Quantic Dream and they were the ones that made Detroit become human. So, round of applause. <laughs> I'm being weird, am I? I'm sorry, nerds. And there's a few PlayStation games that are actually fascinating to me that really fascinate me. Detroit become human obviously until dawn. Um sorry, God of War. It's not really that intriguing to me. I might be offending any of the PlayStation fans or any of the God of War fans. I'm sorry, nerds. I'm really sorry. But I will give Marvel Spider-Man a shot one day. But right now, I don't really play video games like I used to anymore. I would play video games like maybe like almost every day, like even during school days. But nowadays, I would just play video games primarily on weekends. 
I would play video games for a little bit, like during a Monday morning, for instance, like 12 or 1 a.m. I had talked about that before. I, I, I mostly just play video games only on weekends. That's literally it. Uh, so yeah, I'm primarily an Xbox individual, and I do apologize for changing the camera angles like 20 times in this video. I'm making sure you nerds can really uh, see the drawing nice and well, uh, see the progress of me doing the Corey X Kenshin drawing. Like, I know my arms are kind of long. And they're kind of slim. I'm like, I forgot how much I weigh, so I don't really use my brother's, like, weight scale. So I'm not really too, I just don't really get concerned about my weight or, like, health. Well, I should worry about my health. And I should worry about health uh, when it comes to doing these drawings. If I stand up for a long time, maybe my back would start hurting. And if I apply too much pressure to any of my artwork, if I use crayons or whatever, uh, color pencils or oil, oil pastels, you know, I would uh, experience brief paralysis uh, to my left hand and I would have to hesitate. I would have to slow down and stop drawing for some time until my hand becomes normal. Okay nerds, here's the current progress of the Corey X Kenshin drawing. Most of his hair is pretty much complete. I did use the scissors to scratch off. I also used a white oil pastel. I wasn't going to use a gray oil pastel because gray is a little weaker than white, so I chose to use a white oil pastel. How does it look so far? It looks good. Not great. I'm still atrocious at drawing uh, human hair. Maybe I need to look at uh, the tutorials if I'm not lazy enough, uh, so that way I could like improve. But you know, as you can see, there's effort. The other side of his forehead. His forehead is looking fresh, crisp. Got his other eyebrow. His right eyebrow looks weird than this one. I chose not to work on uh, his other eye, but for sure in the next part, we're gonna work on his right eye. It may seem like I didn't really do much, but we're over halfway through. As you can see, nerds, we're over halfway through with this drawing of Corey X Kenshin. It's progress, baby. It, always progress. This drawing is slowly coming together, slowly becoming alive like other drawings of a YouTuber, like Mr. Beast. So that is gonna be the end of this video, uh, the end of this part. Stay tuned for more content, and I hope this video was quite enjoyable to watch. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and also, feel free to follow my Facebook page. And thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time.